Hey students, how are you? Hope you all are good. Today we are going to take menstrual cycle part 2. In our first part, we have discussed what is menstrual cycle and what are the phases of menstrual cycle. In our second part, that is today's part, we are going to take the complete process of menstrual cycle as well as the hormonal control of menstrual cycle and menopause. So let's begin. Menstrual cycle part 2. A woman's reproductive system consists of an arrangement of organs. And uh, what are the organs that are present in a woman's reproductive system? It consists of ovaries. It consists of fallopian tubes and fallopian tubes are also known as uterine tubes. It consists of uterus or also known as womb and the vagina. Now we have to see the complete process of menstrual flow. How the complete cycle of menstruation takes place. So let's have a look at a video representation based on menstruation. A menstrual cycle you can see various arrangement of organs is present in a woman's reproductive system it consists of what ovaries fallopian tubes uterus and the vagina so these all are going to play part in the menstrual cycle which is centered around what around the release of an egg from ovaries known as the process of ovulation. Let's have a le look inside the reproductive organs to see what happens. The ovaries are a pair of glands which are situated at the either sides of the uterus. Now they are enclosed by finger like ends of the fallopian tubes or oviducts. Uterus is a hollow muscular and inverted pear shaped structure. Now what happens if the fertilization has taken place? The embryo gets attached to the uterine wall where it is nourished and protected. This process is basically taking place by the control of hormonal secretions of the pituitary gland into the bloodstream. The ovary releases the matured egg. You can see a matured egg is being released here. This is known as ovulation. It usually occurs between day 13th and 14th or 15th of each cycle. 